What's up guys, Nolan here. BSG put out an update today that changed up a bunch of weapon rarities and stuff, and they actually posted a full workup of each change along with it too, so props to BSG there on that, as we don't need to go behind their backs and data mine this stuff anymore, they'll just tell us. Also, hey, just heads up, that bandage event is still going, so if you got some spare rubles, might as well just toss them towards Therapist, see if we can get that clock to tick down a little bit quicker. Also, of course, as always, if you like the video, hit the button and subscribe for more like it, I really appreciate it. In terms of the new stuff today, lots of backpacks changed in weight, so make sure you check out your weight status before jumping into a raid chances are you'll be fine as most of the changes the backpacks people actually use were just small tweaks but check them all the same now however the standouts were the tasmanian tiger the attack 2 and the 6sh backpacks all of which were reduced in weight significantly saving a couple kilograms each the tasmanian tiger is actually super light for a 5 by 7 at just 1.004 kilos now loads of weapons in the game had their rarities changed you'll be seeing a lot more mid wipe weapons popping up in those cases and I think about the same amount of late wipe weapons and boxes. Personally, I didn't have too much trouble before, but I'll take it. When it comes to reading these charts, the difference between common, rare, and super rare is of course obvious, but the spawn chance I have to assume is a scale because it does not make sense to be a percent. Unless I'm an idiot and I'm missing something here, let me know in the comments because this doesn't seem to add up. All in all, it looks like of the weapons shown, the AS Val is the rarest while the Varesk is the second, the MCX follows that up, and the RD704 follows that up. Which makes makes complete sense to me because unless I'm farming rogues, I practically never see those things. Well, in terms of boxes and getting stuff from AI, of course. Last but not least, we have some base price changes, which will affect what these items cost on the flea because of the fee required to place them at a higher price on the flea market. So check these out for sure if you're in the market because the ones that are still up there might be at the old price while the ones that are about to go up will be at the new price. We got the armor repair kits, lead X's, car dealer closed section key. That's the room upstairs with all the weapon boxes. Check 15, which doesn't need an introduction but I'll give one anyway, maybe one of the most profitable keys in the game right now. The terror group folder, which you need for a whole bunch of cool stuff. The weapons case, the streets abandoned factory marked key. That's the one that you used to be able to jump into, but now you need the key. The taiga and the red rebel. Good to see BSG drop in the full breakdowns of these changes on social media there on their Twitter. Let's hope to see more of that in the future. But that's all for today, guys. Big video tomorrow on the stuff that I think BSG cut from the game. If you haven't kept up with that, that was the video from a couple days ago where I talked about the full list of everything they've talked about in the past. Nikita addressed that in the Tarkov TV and said that they did cut some stuff, so we'll talk about what that might be. But until then, follow me on Twitter or join the Discord for the minute by minute stuff. Like the video if you did, sub for more, or let me know what you think in the comments. Check out my other channels for other games right here. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.